In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Jira dashboard. So first of all, we want to make sure we're logged in and at the top, we want to go to dashboards and create dashboard. So we want to pick the name of the dashboard. So I'm going to say tester dash. You put the description here, you put the viewers here. So project group, organization, user, private. You can put the editors in here and, you know, pick this to what you need and then click save. And that's going to open up the dash. Now to add a gadget, we go up to the right and simply press add gadget. And that's going to pop up this side menu here. Now there's a ton of features here, but if you, you can pick one here, or if you want a specific one, but you can't see it, you can use the search bar here to find it. So we're going to go ahead and type in sprint and we're going to add all of these gadgets. And now we can just close this. And if we look here, we've got these three gadgets that need to be configured. So first of all, we can go here and just rearrange these like this. Um, I'm gonna move it like this. Cool. Okay, now in here you want to put the board. So select your board here. You can put show board name and show sprint name if you want them like this. And down here you want to put the sprint. And then you can put the auto refresh so how often it updates if you wanted to update every 15 minutes you could do that and then you can hit save now um i haven't put one in there so it's not going to work so again in this one we want to select the board you can pick which ones of these you want sprint um this one make sure with the sprint as well this is a dynamic value so yeah remember that uh you can hit save on this when you're ready now basically this this first one here is going to show how many days are remaining this one is going to show you sort of the overall progress. So it's going to show you the story points. And then if this was configured properly, it would show you the sprint burn down. Now here, depending on what you want to do, you can press change layout. So you can, you know, have it shown however you would like to, whatever you, depending on what you need. Now we're going to move on to creating some filters. So you want to go up to the filter section up here, go to advanced issue search. Now in here you can um, select what you need to do. So you can put the different variables in here. You can do, you know, what type of task it is. You can do the status, the assignee. Um, and there's lots of other criteria here. So like the start date, end date, risk, all of that kind of stuff. And you can even do searches in here. So, you know, whatever you need to do. Users, you can put that into here like this. Now once we created those specific filters for whatever we need, we can go back here to edit and we can add in something like a pie chart. We can add that in here. We can configure that, select the filter that we've just created. You can use that. Um, you know, select which type of statistic you want to show for the filter and you can put that to update every 15 minutes and then hit save and that's going to create a pie chart for the filter that we've just set up and now pretty much from here like you have tons of different gadgets that you can add to make your dashboard look however you need it to look whatever you're trying to do for it and it's very powerful if you configure it properly so that's how you do it if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please like subscribe and comment down below that it worked thank you for watching